All right, guys, so this video is going to be important for you guys to watch because, well, first and foremost, we need to talk about this. It's called the wet dream. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys have had these, you know, at some point in your life, maybe when you started puberty or just even any time this year, possibly. But, but, you know, it's the dreaded, you know, waking up, you ejaculated on yourself during sleep because you had some type of erotic dream or something just kind of aroused you. And, you know, I got to say, even if you didn't actually cause this, like you weren't sitting there playing with yourself, like even waking up to knowing that you ejaculated after, you know, containing and retaining your seed for so long is still very disappointing like at least it is or it was for me you know when it actually happened like my first year in I remember I was so excited I was like you know I'm a you know I'm a year in like everything's really cool and then boom just one night my body released and I was like no like I was I was just so upset and you know, I started watching videos online, you know, like, does it count? Do I start over? You know, do I, you know, like, was it worth nothing? Like, what, you know, and after battling through those thoughts, you know, I watched online, you know, you shouldn't feel bad when that happens because it's your natural body's way of releasing, you know, extra semen. But even after listening to that, though, I was like, nah, like, I got to find a way to stop this because what if you just start, you know, having wet dreams all the time? I mean, will you still build your semen retention, you know, energy within you? And I'm, and I was like, no, like, there's no way. Like, if you're constantly even releasing uh, in your wet dreams, like, how could you possibly be building up your semen retention? So, what I ended up doing was figuring out what was causing, you know, the wet dreams. And I caught it one time. I remember I was praying about it. And I caught what was actually, for me personally, maybe this will relate and resonate with you too, what was causing or what caused the wet dream before, you know, because you could still have, you know, dreams, you know, as you, you know, purify your thoughts and things of that nature, you'll still have dreams, you know, erotic dreams and whatnot. But obviously, as you progress, you learn to say no, even in your dreams. But before that, I remember... I, I would sleep on my stomach and there would be pressure against my genitals. Now, this is what I personally realized was causing or caused the wet dreams. I think I only had like two. Then that was enough for me to say, I got to figure out a solution to this. And I realized that when I did, it was because I had pressure on my genital, genitals. And so what I started doing was sleeping on my back, right? Like I started sleeping on my back and also wearing very loose clothing, you know, like no tight boxers, like no tight, you know, whatever you sleep in, right? Like don't tuck yourself in so tight at night where it's like rubbing up against you, you know, or your genitals, you know? And ever since I started doing that, like I haven't had a wet dream at all. Like, I can get aroused in the middle of the night, but since my body is not against or, you know, grinding, so to speak, like humping anything, it, it doesn't get more aroused than it needs to, and I don't have any more wet dreams. And so if you've been struggling with this, I highly suggest, you know, especially if you have a vision from God, you have to learn how to control this. You have to start sleeping on your back. Start wearing loose clothing. Don't let anything touch your penis. Like, don't let anything touch your genitals, dude. Like, while you're sleeping at night. And trust me, like, you won't have any more wet dreams. Like, believe me. Like, it works. <laughs> so, guys, I wanted to share this with you because some people will say, like, oh, you know you know, maybe meditate or clear your mind. Don't think of anything erotic. And yeah, you know, maybe that helps too. Um, I obviously don't do that. I don't even like watching porn. I, gosh, it's amazing how much you purify yourself on this journey. But if there's one thing I can really suggest is start sleeping on your back. Don't wear like tight boxers. Don't let anything touch your genitals throughout the night and watch how the wet dreams disappear. And then you'll really start to retain and you won't lose a single drop of that power. So guys, hopefully this has helped you out in some way, shape or form. I know that, you know, if you guys are called, if you got, if you guys are chosen, 
you guys will listen to this, get through it, and accomplish the vision that God has given you. So, hopefully, you guys take this wisdom with you to heart. I'm sending you guys so much love, and I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. See ya.